Hi, this is Ross with My Service Depot, and today we're going to go over how you can send your job times from Smart Service to your QuickBook timesheets. Now, your first step is coming here to the Employees icon. So, your first step is come into each employee that you wish to set up, and make sure your QuickBooks employee is set up right here. This is pulling a list from your QuickBook employee list. This just ensures that the times from Smart Service send to your QuickBook timesheets correctly. Now our second step is we just need to find our payroll items. So we're going to come up to the office icon and click the fourth option down. In our work orders that have been completed, this is typically where you can come in here and invoice to QuickBooks. Now first we're going to click our little plus to the far left. We're going to click that and then other time. Now this is where you have the ability to adjust your travel time, your job time, and other time. But we're going to come up here to define payroll item. So what you have to do is you have to make sure we have a payroll item associated for our production, travel, and other, just to ensure that it goes again to our QuickBook timesheets correctly. You can also even associate a labor item that goes to, again, the QuickBook timesheets. Once you have this set up, all you have to do is click Save. Click Save once more. And our last step is we just need to make sure Send Job Times to QuickBook Timesheets is checked. So your last step is come over here to the right and press Post. So that will complete the job, send the invoice to QuickBooks, and post over the times to the QuickBook Timesheets. So if we run over to QuickBooks and look in the timesheets for that employee, you can now see how all the times are now being sent to that employee's timesheet for the week. And it's that quick and easy to send your job times from SmartSource to your QuickBook timesheets. Now for more info, go to smartservice.com or follow us on Facebook and Twitter with the links below.